Their latest ad campaign stars the pretty Scarlett Johansson, but did the fall winter collection embody her Hollywood movie star spirit? Not at all. It was glam rock on the Dolce & Gabbana runway. They did a live stream of backstage videos and on the runway we saw a play of masculine and feminine stars and sequins pop and rock with models in silky chiffon gowns or tailored tuxes. Star print and lace frocks were paired with ankle socks and white pumps. Oxford shoes rock with bejeweled dresses. Fanny packs made a resurgence along with paillette covered handbags. In another show, the men embraced fiery red and rich furs for their fall 2011 collection. The duo put in their Italian charm and youthfulness into the collection. There was velvet color, pinstripes, braces, wingtips for cool, new spin on the marriage of old and new style motifs. What a fall winter season without a stylish Burberry coat. Well, it's a must-have if you ask me, and if you want to be a step ahead, watch on, because the Burberry Pro Sum Fall Winter 2011 show is coming up next. Burberry has made it to 13th place on Fast Company's list of the world's most innovative companies. Well, they do seamlessly fuse the past and future, just as they did with this collection in a luxurious selection of coats, in vibrant hoos, and of course the Burberry check plaid. The look and sound of Jean Shrimpton's golden era, the early 60s shape, the shirt. There were trim coats with matching bags and the odd military flourish, drop waisted tulip skirted dresses and leanly mod sweaters and pants. The monochromatic outerwear as well as the tartan ones were done in bright pops of orange, blue, red, yellow and purple in slightly exaggerated mod light silhouettes and then later in more neutral and tailored iterations. The mod feel of the show worked its way into separates as well as with wide and at times fur line, sleeves, bell bottoms, tweed and herringbone for an added 60s flair. It's one of the most recognized emblems in the world. The CK logo may have been on your bottle of perfume or your underwear, but we have earned a piece of that label at some point in our life. So maybe you'd like to look at this fall winter collection for your next purchase. It was a textural and voluminous approach to minimalism. The story for the Calvin Klein collection for fall was texture. The fabrics were meant to be in focus, so we saw just a few uncomplicated graphic silhouettes. The minimalism was seen in shift dresses, baseball jackets, short A-line skirts and coats. Fabrics like alpaca, cashmere, shirling and silk giving simple sheaths and shirt dresses new textures and on the other hand, parchment leather added sheen to pants and pantsuits. Jackets have long become a CK favorite and they were in a mix of cashmere and leather and were modernized with the absence of colors. The sleeveless dresses were actually silk jacket laser cut into tiny frills quite stunning. It may have been simple, but don't they say beauty lies in simplicity? Ex-princess of Fustenberg and current queen of fashion Diane von Fustenberg is one designer whose collection are always fun and wearable. She always has my attention. Take a look and see if she grabs yours. She named her full collection American Legends and it was all about the pioneering spirit of the US of A. Unlike Calvin Klein, there was nothing minimalistic about this collection. Wide brim hats, fringed suede boots, silk button downs with contrast tipping and gauchos with gold. Did anyone say Wild Wild West? Of course, if you dine like I do, you know that that's not it. Eccentric prints and vibrant ball colors were also seen on the ramp. She brought a bit of her own past into the collection with sequin dresses that closed the show.